One of the best things you can do for your performance, your recovery, your energy, your mental health, your physical health, everything is transferring over from being a mouth breather to a nasal breather. This has been known for thousands of years, but it became a lost art and now it's being brought up and it's being heavily studied. These are two books that kind of changed uh, my perception on breathing, the oxygen advantage and breathe, all right? Now, I'm gonna give you some practical takeaways. The, the overlapping theme in this book, a lot of it centers around nasal breathing. Now, there's two products that you can go get for really cheap on Amazon that have made a huge difference for me over the past year, and I'll talk about that at the end of this video. First, I want you to understand this is what we gotta do for the rest of your life, other than when we're talking and the occasional, you know, hard exercise, breathing through the mouth. It, that's a survival mechanism. That's why you could breathe through the mouth. That's a survival reason. And so by breathing through your mouth throughout the day, we're surviving and that's anxiety through the roof and stress through the roof and that wrecks havoc on our body and our recovery. So close your mouth, you, you touch your teeth together lightly, you close your lips, you put the tongue on the roof of your mouth and then we breathe in and out through the nose. We don't want hard, intense inhales. We wanna be able to relax the neck, relax the upper body. And you wanna think about basically the, the nasal hairs won't move. So if you breathe in really hard, the nasal hairs move. You wanna think about breathing in and out soft enough to where those nose hairs don't move. A lot of people end up over breathing. Most of us are over breathing. We wanna actually learn how to breathe a little bit less get full exhales and nasal breathing can be 10 to 20 percent more oxygen uptake than mouth breathing think about how much more energy you can have with 20 percent more oxygen going through your body so again close your mouth lightly close your lips uh, tongue on the roof of your mouth and then we just breathe through the nose throughout the day now a lot of us for me especially my nose was so blocked i had a uh, uh, polyps in my nose. I had a, a deviated septum. I actually had to get surgery on this stuff because I was so blocked up. And I probably could have prevented that surgery had I learned this stuff four years ago instead of learning it just last year. But I know that a lot of you guys go, well, I can't breathe through my nose throughout the day and especially not at night because I'm too blocked up. Look up Patrick McCone. Uh, look it up on YouTube. You can look up the nose unblocking exercise. It's very simple. That's gonna work for about 90% of people. Now, it didn't work permanently for me, probably because I didn't stick to it long enough or I didn't do it frequently enough. So what I had to do is go on Amazon and get this. You just stick this thing in your nose and it opens up the airway. So even though I'm so stopped up and I can't get air in and out, this opens everything up. And then while this is in, I can really get air in and out. And the more you do it, the more it opens up. Our nose is like a, a nitric oxide reservoir. And so once you start getting it, everything starts to actually open up. So it's one of those things that the more you do, the easier it becomes, the more you open up. And then if you just stay constant with it, your nose will probably never block up again if you actually do this stuff consistently. So for me, I had to use this and I just started using it. I'd watch TV, I would just kind of hang out around the house and I'd be nasal breathing all day. Eventually I moved into using it at night. Because my nose was so blocked up, I developed some sleep apnea and I would wake up just congested and sneezing. I would put this in at night and then I went on Amazon, I got these, uh, this tape and I guess you could do it with regular tape too, but you just tape your mouth closed and talk to your doctor, don't listen to me, you wanna go uh, do this the right way. But for me, I would use this, I would tape my mouth closed so that I wasn't able to breathe through the mouth and all of a sudden now at night, I'm a full nasal breather and I wake up with so much more energy. I no longer need coffee. I used to need two, three cups of coffee just to get going. I no longer need that because you wake up feeling so refreshed. Even if I get less sleep, I was getting eight, nine hours of sleep and waking up still feeling tired. If that's you, there's a pretty good chance that you're kind of holding your breath throughout the night or you're just mouth breathing throughout the night because you, your nose isn't opened up. So these are some really cheap, easy things that you can go get on Amazon that can really transform your life. And if you're not blocked up, then just close your mouth and start doing nasal breathing throughout the day. There's a lot of different techniques uh, that can take your breathing to the next level, but the most important isn't those like little 10 minute techniques, like 30 minutes a day, it's the other 23 and a half hours a day. We're, we're taking thousands and thousands and thousands of breaths throughout the day. So the 23 and a half hours of how we're breathing, that's what matters the most. And I think that's what's really gonna transform your life. Music